Gomez turned down invitations to a few cheese games. Maybe she caught the vibe from these people and doesn't think that their intentions are pure. Ever since rumors about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey started spreading around, lots of people have started to give their input on the relationship, especially because of all the media attention surrounding it. It's no surprise that even Taylor's best friend, Selena Gomez, has had a few things to say about the relationship, and she seems to be pretty concerned. At this point in time, it does seem like all the rumors are true, as Taylor and Travis have been spending a lot of time together. It all started very simple, with Travis telling everyone that he attended one of Taylor's era tour stops in hopes of giving her a bracelet with his number on it, but was left disappointed when he found out she doesn't speak before or after concerts. Speaking of Taylor Swift, I know you went to the Taylor Swift concert. How was it? Yeah, well, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings so i was a little butthurt i didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets i made for her you made her a bracelet yeah if you're up on uh, taylor swift concerts there are friendship bracelets and i received a bunch of them being there but i wanted to give taylor swift one with my number on it not right now your number's in 87 or your phone number you know which one <laughs> She doesn't meet anybody, or at least she didn't want to meet me, so I took a personal. She probably just hasn't gotten over the Super Bowl yet. She's a big Eagles fan. Maybe she just made something up and just didn't want to talk to you. Damn it. Travis apparently ended up extending an invitation to Taylor to come to his game now that he's gone to her concert, and Taylor decided to take things into her own hands and actually showed up at the game. The media was in a frenzy at the time, as Taylor has been in relationship drama pretty much all year, and she is rarely this bold in public which means all eyes were on her in that stadium. But it wasn't only the media that played everything up, since Travis himself was a part of quite a lot of the talk. Radio hosts could hardly help themselves from asking him about Taylor, and the whole thing immediately became very public. Travis attempted to stay pretty tight-lipped at the start since things were still so new. I said what I said, and I meant what I said when I said it. And you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. Actually, it seemed like he had quite a bit of fun with the radio host since everyone wanted a piece of his story. Life. I know what you writers want to hear. <laughs> and you want to hear more about that, and I'm not going to give you anything. Has she reached out? Huh? Has she reached out? And that's going to wrap it up here with NFL. <laughs> It's therefore no surprise that when Taylor suddenly attempted another one of his games with his mom, people absolutely freaked. This was so early for Taylor to be seen in public with her date's family, and while the environment definitely makes this very casual, it was still a huge step to take in front of so many cameras. Travis, for one, was ecstatic to see his mom alongside Taylor, and he even talked all about how everyone in the box only had great things to say about Taylor. Shout out to Taylor for, uh, for pulling up. That was pretty ballsy. That was pretty ballsy, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her. You know, the, the friends and family, she looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her in, a, in great light. And on top of that, uh, you know, the... The day went perfect for Chiefs fans, of course. It, <laughs> we scripted it all, ladies and gentlemen. It was, it was just impressive. It was impressive. It was very impressive. It was uh, impressive on the field. It was impressive in the box. The energy was electric. It was absolutely like to see the slow motion chest bumps, to see the, the, the high fives with mom, to, uh, to see how, you know, Chiefs Kingdom was all excited that she was there. That shit was absolutely hysterical. And it was uh, it was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. Um, and then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. Took my Chevelle to the game and yeah. Got the convertible, baby. Oh, yeah. You already know, having fun flying around, breaking all the speed limits and that thing. Shout out to Taylor for coming through. And the night only got better from there as they were seen driving away together in a convertible, heading to a private dinner at a restaurant. This incredibly fast relationship progression only got more and more interesting for fans to witness as the two quickly started being seen together more and more after events backstage at Travis's games. And Travis was even seen roaming around Taylor's apartment a few times. Taylor even started bringing her closest friends, like Blake Lively, Sophie Turner, and Brittany Mahomes, to witness some of Travis's games. Meaning she's probably pretty serious about this relationship and already wishes to show off her man. However, one person who hasn't been seen at his games is Selena Gomez. 
According to sources, Selena has sort of been keeping her distance since she's not totally sold by the relationship. While she'll always be happy for her best friend, sources have revealed some of her less positive thoughts. Selena and Taylor have been friends for years now, and they've always had a tight bond ever since they first met while they both dated the Jonas Brothers. In fact, relationships are the first thing they ever bonded over. Selena discussed the whole thing back in 2017. We actually dated the Jonas Brothers together. It was hysterical. It was amazing because she was the girl with the big curly hair, all the bracelets, and the cowboy boots. And I was definitely up and coming, and we just clicked. It was the best thing we got out of those relationships. But it wasn't all girl talk between them since they quickly grew to really respect each other. Selena in particular talked all about how much she looks up to Taylor. She can represent what she's walking through so well. She's a role model. I don't think that's something you sign up for. I just think it's something you inherently have inside of you. And I think that's Taylor. Selena has always been there for Taylor as well, especially through some of Taylor's hardest times. She never left her behind. And it's because Selena saw a real, true friendship in Taylor. She actually revealed that she never felt like she fit into a cool group of girls amongst the celebrities. Not until she met Taylor and entered her world, so being around her really made her feel like she belonged. In fact, Selena has had a lot of issues with this kind of thing in the past, since she felt like everyone around her had everything figured out. And while she was happy, she didn't fully know who she was as a person. And Taylor was an incredibly big part of her finding herself. Because of this, she's also been pretty protective of Taylor throughout the years. Because she's been her friend through thick and thin, she's also seen Taylor through so many of her relationships and knows exactly what's going on behind the scenes. This is why it was pretty shocking to hear that Selena supposedly had some doubts regarding Taylor's new relationship with Travis. It's especially the way it's become so public that has Selena concerned, since Taylor has always kept these things private. The source revealed some of Selena's thoughts, saying, Selena thinks Taylor going to games and gallivanting through New York immediately after just meeting Travis is something that is very unlike her. Historically, Taylor's always been super private about everything, and now with this relationship, she's so open about it that it's just very odd for Selena. It's no doubt extra weird to see her be so open with everything after the year she's had with her breakup with Joe Alwyn and her rumored relationship with Maddie Healy, which came with quite a storm despite her being as private as possible about it. However, this time around, she's already seen buying out restaurants to go on dates with him, holding hands in public, and kissing him for photos. And because of Travis being very open as well, we've gotten quite a lot of insight into their relationship from both points of view, which has been very irregular for Selena. However, despite some of these thoughts, Selena doesn't seem to be mad at Taylor, and the two aren't fighting over any of it. Selena is still very respectful of Taylor's choices, and they're still on great terms seeing as they were even seen going out for sushi this past October. Taylor is perfectly capable of taking care of herself and her own image, so she is well aware of what she's doing. But Selena still has her doubts, even if she keeps them to herself. According to the source, it was especially the fact that they've been seen holding hands in public that really threw her off guard since they've only supposedly been together for less than a month. And the fact that Taylor had already spent time with Travis's mom also seemed very strange to Selena. Some of these concerns might be exactly why Selena has been staying away from the Travis's games, despite all of Taylor's other friends going. According to the source, it's not like Selena hasn't received invitations, since Taylor apparently really does want her to come. However, Selena has decided to keep her distance. This is all due to the fact that she apparently doesn't want to be part of the media frenzy, especially since it's so chaotic and hard to control. The sources said, It didn't come from a malicious place and it's not that she doesn't like them together. She's just concerned about the way it's being navigated. However, Selena wanting to stay out of the media doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the fact that Taylor is dating Travis, since she's been notorious for trying to stay out of the media's eye for years now. While Selena loves posting herself on social media, she also loves to have full control of how the public perceives her. And with 
all the media constantly tuned to Taylor's every move. When she attends these games, it makes sense why Selena would want to stay away. Selena isn't even the only person in Taylor's life who has seemed to distance themselves from all the attention surrounding Taylor's new relationship. The Heim sisters are also noticeably absent from Taylor's side lately, and the source revealed that they share Selena's thoughts on the topic. It's why they haven't even been seen with Taylor during outings, or been involved in her life lately. Clearly, many people in Taylor's life believe things might be going way too fast. However, Taylor seems to be having fun, which is all that really matters. What do you guys think of how fast Taylor and Travis are moving? Let me know down below and don't forget to check out this other video.